London is bursting with landmarks for sightseers, but this is a bus tour with a difference. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kleptocracy Tour of London. The tour guide is Russian anti-corruption activist Roman Borisovich, and the bus is packed with journalists. This new tour features palatial homes purchased by Russian and Ukrainian oligarchs, many with close links to senior politicians, including Russian President Vladimir Putin. But the aim is not only to expose the kleptocrats themselves, it is also to shine the light on those businessmen that derive their fortunes from such kleptocracies, and the, the enablers, those who help them bring their ill-gotten funds into our countries. Our first stop is Five Belgrave Square, a multi-million pound property belonging to Russian aluminium and utilities tycoon Oleg Deripaska. Once dubbed Putin's favourite industrialist, Deripaska is valued by Forbes magazine at $2.2 billion. For years, he was barred from entering the US because of concerns he had ties to organised crime, but he's never been charged. From inside the house, there's no sign of life. He's probably not home. It's all about not necessarily buying property and living here. It's more about parking their money. So they want to move their money out of Russia or Ukraine or Kazakhstan or wherever and putting it in a safe place. And so if you put it into a London property, that's a safe place and it's an investment. Back on the bus, there's a succession of guides. This is Vladimir Ashurkov, a Russian opposition politician given political asylum in Britain. Uh, because we uh, will expose an outrageous case of kleptocracy at the very top levels of the power structure of Russia. I'm speaking about Mr. Igor Ivanovich Shuvalov, a uh, vice prime minister of Russia. Mr. Shuvalov was able to receive hundreds of millions of dollars in alleged bribes uh, from top Russian businessmen and invest uh, these proceeds of crime in financial assets and in real estate in Europe, including Britain. Shuvalov's London properties cost around 100 times his official annual salary, but he has vigorously insisted he earned his money from legitimate business interests. The next house is the smallest on the tour, but this is Chelsea, one of London's costliest neighbourhoods. The price tag was £3.3 .3 million. It belongs to Roman Rottenberg, whose father Arkady is said to be one of Putin's oldest friends. Again, this the same message until when we're going to tolerate this. Yeah. I mean, this chap is sanctioned by the United States government. Yeah. One Ukrainian oligarch was thinking bigger. This whole block of buildings, including a former London underground station, belongs completely to Dmitro Firtash. He was a close ally of ousted Ukrainian President Viktor Yanukovych. Firtash is currently in Austria, resisting a US extradition request on bribery charges. There have also been allegations he was behind payments for British MPs to make trips to Ukraine during the Yanukovych era. I still think that there are questions to be answered about whether the money which was given by Mr. Firtash's friends was buying access and was buying influence. That's my question, and I still think that question is on the table. And finally, the most expensive apartment in London. It's owned by the richest man in Ukraine, Renat Akhmatov. His penthouse here at One Hyde Park cost £136 million. It boasts bulletproof windows and a panic room for emergencies. For post-Soviet multi-billionaires, London is a place where they can protect themselves and the fortunes harvested in the East.